media. From comicbook.com, uh, with much of the drama of soap operas focused on love and relationships with kissing and intimacy and lots of grown up things like that, uh, production on soap operas have had the potential to be very problematic, pandemically speaking. So to counter that, shows have taken a unique approach using mannequins to stand in during those intimate moments between characters. And now a clip from such a moment from the bold and the beautiful has gone viral. This oh. clip is amazing. It's very funny. It, it, I will say like hilarious. props because they do it just well enough that it's like, I think I would have caught that. But if you're not paying attention, it's not like, whoa, it's like, they do a good, he leans in, they have her talking, him talking, he leans in for the kiss. And, and then all of a sudden there's a stiff board, like almost like- The back like, of the head. The actor goes for it. I give him credit. He's either a really good actor or a bit of a freak, but like, people, make people, that moment happen. He was like, finally, I can do this in public. People were like, uh, No, he did a good job. Props, props to him. Was, was, props for kissing props. I you mean, know what I mean? But I was, I knew that it was a mannequin before. If you would have, yeah, if you didn't tell me that that was a mannequin, maybe I would have been fooled. But the funny thing is knowing that it was a mannequin and then watching it, because then you could just make all kinds of jokes. It's like that she seemed so stiff. There was no chemistry there. And, you know, and no, it was like, could you imagine like you went in for the kiss and then the head just pops off bloop, or something like that? It just feels like such a weird place to draw the line for me. Of like, I'm assuming these actors are getting tested. I'm assuming they're on set together. I'm assuming they're, you know, six inches apart talking in each other's faces. Like, I'm all for additional safety measures, but it does almost feel like if she's sick, you're not in great shape whether you kiss or not, right. just based on what we know about this stuff. But that's, I guess every little bit helps. That's funny. If and we, hey, people are talking about the bold and the beautiful, which they haven't been for a while. So <laughs> that probably leads into what with uh, the discussion that was uh, on the last episode. Guys, check out the Patreon uh, account for that where we actually talked about the the whole the pandemic and kissing. So that, that's a little tie into that. So if you want to check that discussion out, uh, check that out too. But it's now it, it this just <laughs> it just makes me wonder what's the next step uh, because one of the other things that soap operas are known for is the uh, the whole like after the kissing scene the when we come back to those characters they're usually like in bed the the the, the morning after and mm -hmm. uh they're having their little discussion you know uh about how uh you know i'm actually the the evil twin or whatever the hell they're talking about and stuff so what are they gonna do in those situations where it's like we're gonna let's record a little sexy time are we gonna just pan away to the curtains a little sooner than we we normally do or we're we gonna have some kind of like a like a a doll kind of scenario <laughs> Imagine they're getting roasted so hard for this i'm sure they'll like we'll we'll just cut we just won't do it's fine <laughs> nobody's gonna have the uh the sexy time at all in during the pandemic yeah we yeah set the example yeah you know, kissing is okay i guess but uh with mannequins uh let's be safe out there and guys don't go to convenience stores and malls and like record yourself kissing mannequins let's not make that trend at all we're this in a pandemic chris don't encourage people to put their mouths on weird stuff <laughs> okay sorry was that what i was doing okay i'm sorry yeah, yeah. listen when there's a vaccine you put your freaky little mouths on whatever you want guys but in the meantime my birthday's in january i just want to be able to go out y'all don't put your mouths on stuff it's come on now what <laughs> What did Gunther say in Friends? Keep the, uh, put the mouse back in the house, pal. This is, this is a family business. <laughs> oh, oh man, what are you guys? What are you, the question is? What do you guys think about this whole thing? Were you did you see this whole thing? Is if this is the first time? I highly recommend googling it if you haven't seen it. I recommend checking out that that tweet that video it is hilarious i love it this whole weekend at bernie's uh kind of uh way of uh doing soap operas is hilarious um i'm now curious if any other uh, any other like types of tv shows or movies are going to you know take <laughs> this take this on because it it's it actually works it makes sense it, it in a weird way but it's just so weird there's just so many jokes that are there so it's kind of awkward but hey they if they like put your best foot they forward make it, work. make it work hey 
If you like it, I love it. But guys, let us know what you guys think about that. Comment below, put it in the box below, and we'll talk about it on We Got Your Mail. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel and please drop a like on this video. It really does help us. Also, don't forget you can turn on notifications so you don't miss a single review, react, why is that trending, or we got your mail.